Ever since I created this short on 5 reasons why Colin is the best Nightmare Fame pilot in Code Geass, there has been some backlash. Basically, what I said isn't entirely true depending on how you look at things. So I have decided to drop my bias and statistically evaluate every Nightmare Fame pilot in Code Geass in order to find out who is the best. Here's how this is going to work. I'm going to take the pilot's total wins losses, draws, kills, and battles to determine their battle score and winning percentage. Winning percentage is calculated in the way you would expect. I simply divide the total wins by total battles. Draws are divided by 2 and add to both the losses and the wins. For example, if the score was 10 wins, 5 losses, and 10 draws, we would add 5 to both sides since 10 divided by 2 is 5. This gives us 15 wins and 10 losses, and after basic division, the winning percentage comes out to 60%. To make it easier, I rounded the numbers. Let's go over how I determine what a win, loss, and draw are. A win is when a pilot defeats another pilot in Nightmare Frame combat. If the pilot was going to win, but the battle was interrupted, that still counts as a win. If one pilot only won because of unfair circumstances, it is still technically a win. For example, even though it's clearly incompetence that led to Shinkei's victory over Colin in turn 10, it's still a win for Shinkei. A defeat and ultimately a loss is when the pilot can no longer continue to fight. Usually pilots will eject from the nightmare frame, it could also be the nightmare frame was too damaged to continue to fight, or they were saved in the last minute, or, the most obvious outcome, they died. A draw is when the battle ends with not enough information to determine a reasonable outcome. For example, when Colin fights Jeremiah in stage 1, it would qualify as a draw because both pilots could have won here. We know this because Colin defeated Jeremiah in stage 2 using the same one-armed Glasgow, implying she had a chance to defeat him before. Here's an example of something that would not be considered a draw. During the Battle of Tokyo 2, Claudia was seconds away from killing Chiba. It's thanks to Asahina that that didn't happen. However, that would not be a draw since Claudia was moments away from killing Nagisa and the only reason why she survived was due to outside interference. Next is the battle score. Here's my arbitrary method of calculating it. Pilots earn points based on their stats. Every kill awards a tenth of a point. A win awards 10 points. A draw awards 5 points. A loss awards negative 5 points. And to level things out, I award each pilot an additional point based on the total battles fought. Here is an example to solidify this. If a pilot has 10 wins, 5 losses, and 10 draws with 10 kills, you would calculate their battle score like so. 100 from the wins, minus 25 from the losses, plus 50 from the draws, which equals 125. We add an additional point from dividing the kills by 10, which was 10, and finally award 25 points, one per battle, to get us our grand total of 151 as the battle score. This statistical analysis will be anime only, including Lelouch of the Rebellion, Akito the Exiled, and the latest film, Lelouch of the Resurrection. I'm only including pilots with at least two total battles, narrowing down the list to 32 pilots. Given how the average of battles from the 32 pilots chosen was 6, making the requirements 2 is not an unreasonable standard to go off. This can get out of hand very quickly, so to make it easier, I will discuss the pilots per group. I will put all the data together at the end to show the rankings of all the pilots when you look at them as a whole. I just mentioned groups, so here's how I'm grouping all the characters. The Black Knights, Lelouch, Colin, C2, Rollo, Tamaki, and Shinkei. Then I have Toto and the Four Holy Swords, which consists of Toto, Nagisa, Asahina, Odebe, and Senba. Then we have Cornelius Forces, which consists of Cornelia, Guilford, Jeremiah, Andreas Dalton, and his sons Claudio, David, and Edgar. Unfortunately, Bart and Alfred didn't fight in enough battles to qualify. Then we have the Knights of the Round, Suzaku, Anya, Gino, Bradley, and Bismarck. From the OVA Akito the Exiled, we have Akito, Ayano, Ryu, Yukia, Ashley, Jan, Franz, and Shin. And from Luch of the Resurrection, we have Shalyo and Bittol. Now here's a couple of things to keep in mind before we begin. The score does not take into account the skill level of a pilot, so every win, loss, draw, and battle are all counted the same, regardless of who the pilot is. Just to follow up with that point, the win-loss record is only between main characters, 
This includes Euphemia and Tamaki. The same goes for the generation of nightmare frames used by either pilots. In theory, a weaker nightmare frame winning should be worth more, while a stronger one winning should be worth less. But there is nuance that makes doing that difficult. The stats will seem low for strong characters due to appearing late in the series and or having less battles overall. By first comparing characters per group, it will show their relative strength. For total kills, I'm only counting on screen where we know who's responsible. Obviously, each pilot had more kills than what I present here, but you don't know what you don't know. There were cases where I had to guess. For example, Nagisa and Asahina both pilot blue Akatsuki's, so when I see a single one killing someone, unless I hear the pilot's voice or see a reaction shot, it was a coin flip. For the total kills, I'm only counting using Nightmare Frame's standard armaments. This doesn't include outside weapons used. Examples include the Flare Warhead, and the electrode that was used to cause the landslide and Narita. Also, counting the flay will dramatically skew the numbers for Suzaku, who doesn't need any more help, as you will see later on in the video. In my top reasons for why Colin is the best Nightmare Frame pilot short, I brought up aspects that will be mentioned here. So this is only a statistical way to determine the best Nightmare Frame pilot. Oh, and this is obvious, but spoiler alert? We will first start off with Toto and the Four Holy Swords. Starting off with Senba Ryoga, the eldest member of the group at 42 years old and the pilot of the Gekka and the Borai Kai. Senba, along with the rest of the Four Holy Swords, failed to kill Suzaku in stage 17 and thus get a draw. I'm going to be generous and say that Senba was one of the Four Holy Swords that fought Cornelia briefly in stage 11. Senba's only loss would be his last after Gino killed him in turn 6. Senba had 3 on-screen kills. His winning percentage is 33 with a record of 1 loss and 2 draws. Total battle score, 8.3. Next we have Kosetsu Urabe, the guy with the spiky hair and the one who gave his life to help Zero, a very underrated character. Urabe only pilots the Boraikai and the Gekka. Urabe, much like Senba, has the same draw to Suzaku in stage 17 and a draw to Cornelia. His only loss came at a cost of his life when Rawl killed him in turn 2. Urabe has 9 on-screen kills. His winning percentage is 33 with a record of 1 loss and 2 draws. Because he had more kills than Senba, his his battle score is a little higher at 8.9. It is time to discuss Shogo Asahina, the guy who wears glasses and the one responsible for giving Toto the evidence for the Gias Order Massacre, which unfortunately was never used. He pilots the Borai Kai, Gekka, and the Katsuki command model, Sakisan. Asahina helped C2 and Nagisa defeat Anya in turn 11, lost to Gino in turn 6, and like the rest of the four Holy Swords, has a draw to Zaku in stage 17. Due to the coloring of all the Katsukis being the same for both Chiba and Asahina, it's hard to know for sure, but I think Asahina had 11 on-screen kills. His winning percentage is 50, with a record of 1 win, 1 loss, and 1 draw. Total battle score, 14.1. Next we have the beautiful and my favorite member of the Four Holy Swords, Nagisa Chiba. Besides her beauty, she's also known for being unable to confess her love to Toto and having a lack of trust for Zero. She pilots the Borai Kai, Gekka, and the Katsuki command model, Zikisan. And for some reason her pilot suit is yellow, while everyone else in the Holy Swords wears a dark gray suit. Nagisa defeated David Dalton with an assist from Colin in turn 18 and helped the Black Knights defeat Anya in turn 11. She lost to Anya in turn 6, Shinke in turn 10, and Claudio in turn 18. Her one draw was to Suzaku in stage 17. She had 9 on-screen kills including David Dalton. This gives her a 41 winning percentage with a record of 2 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. Total battle score, 16.9. And finally, we have their leader, Kiyoshiro Toto, the miracle worker and the best general in the JLF. He's the pilot of the custom Gekka and Zangetsu. Toto has a strange battle record. He defeated Edgar Dalton in turn 18, lost to Suzaku in turn 24. He also has two draws from Guilford, one in stage 11, and one in stage 24, and three draws to Suzaku that occurred in stage 17, turn 10, and turn 11 respectively, and finally a draw to Shinke in turn 10. Total also had 56 total on-screen kills. His winning percentage was 50 with one win, one loss, and six draws. Total battle score, 48.6.
Now that I've gone through each member of the four Holy Swords, here's how they rank in wins, losses, battle score, and total kills. Let us move on now to the Knights of the Round. We will first start with the Knight of One, Bismarck Wolstein, an awesome character that deserved more screen time. Bismarck didn't have enough time to fight in this awesome nightmare frame that Gal had and use that awesome weapon, the Excalibur. I like how the films gave him more time, something a new version of R2 could also do. Bismarck defeated Shinke in turn 17 and lost to Suzaku in turn 22. This loss also cost him his life. And no, I don't count that scuffle he had against Anya in turn 20. He had 91 on-screen kills, his winning percentage was 50 with 1 win and 1 loss. Total battle score, 16.1. Next we have Anya Allstream, the knight of 6 and the youngest member with memory issues. Anya pilots the powerful and intimidating Mordred. Since Marion is also technically inside of her mind as a weird way to make her like Rey from Evangelion, they collectively are a team for the purposes of this video. Is that fair? Absolutely. Let's continue. She has defeated Nagisa in turn 6 and Hungu in turn 11. She lost to Count in turn 6, lost to the combined efforts of C2, Asahina, and Nagisa in turn 11, so I only count that as one loss. And Jeremiah during final turn RE. Her one draw was to Lelouch in turn 18. Anya had 1,256 on-screen kills. Now you might be thinking, how? She blew up a carrion class floating battleship which according to the wiki can hold thousands of soldiers. You might be thinking, that still only counts as one. Well, I'm counting each person in that airship individually, so deal with it. She's also not the only one to get a bump in her score because of doing that, but we'll get to that later. Her winning percentage is 42, with a record of 2 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. Total battle score, 141.6. Let's move on to the Vampire of Britannia, Luciano Bradley, the Knight of Ten and the man who loves taking people's lives since it's what they value most. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I hate Bradley but I will admit his nightmare frame the Percival is pretty darn cool. Bradley defeated Lelouch and Tamaki in turn 18 and yes Lelouch was defenseless but I said before this is just stats and nothing else. Bradley lost to Kaln in turn 18 and thankfully he died in that battle. Just like Anya, Bradley destroyed many large aircrafts including a Carolian class floating battleship but since he launched at Shinke who's the actual person to destroy it, I award each of them half of the total kills. So that gives him on-screen kill count of 787. His winning percentage is 67 with a record of 2 wins and 1 loss. Total battle score, 96.7. Up next we have the Knight of Three, Gino Weinberg, who pilots the Tristan and later on the Tristan Divider, a unique nightmare frame that can transform into an airship. Gino defeated Edgar and Claudio in turn 5. It was a training exercise, but I'm counting it since Zaku did say the match was decided. He also defeated Semba and Asahina in turn 6, and Lelouch in turn 24. He lost to Count in turn 6, and twice to Zaku, once in turn 24 and again in turn 24. Gino's draws include Shinkei in turn 11, Guilford, Jeremiah, and Lelouch in turn 18. Gino only had 4 on-screen kills, including Senba. Putting this together, Gino's winning percentage is 58, with a record of 5 wins, 3 losses, and 4 draws. Total battle score, 67.4. And last, and certainly not least, the Knight of Seven, the Knight of Zero, Euphemia's Knight, and childhood friend of Lelouch, Suzaku Kurarugi. Suzaku pilots the Lancelot, Lancelot Conquista, Lancelot Albion, Lancelot Sin, Lancelot Albion Zero, and the Mahorobo Type Zero One. Suzaku defeated many opponents, including twice against Colin in Stage 2 and Stage 24, three times against Tamaki in Stage 2, Stage 18, and Turn 24, three times against Zalush in Stage 2, Stage 11, and Stage 13, twice against Gino in Turn 22 and Turn 24. And here are the rest of the single victories. Ogi in Stage 2, Bismarck, Monica, and Dorothea in Turn 22, Toto and Shinke in Turn 24. Suzaku has only lost twice in the original anime and only to one opponent, Colin. This happens in Turn 18 and Final Turn RE. Suzaku also had quite a few draws, including 4 against Colin in Stage 11, Stage 13, 
Stage 23, and Turn 6. All the Holy Swords in Stage 17, C2 in Stage 23, and Turn 11. 3 against Toto in Turn 10, Turn 11, and Stage 17. 1 2 Jeremiah in Turn 18 and one against Guilford in turn 18. Suzaku had 115 on-screen kills. So putting this together, Suzaku had a winning percentage of 71 with 16 wins, two losses, 15 draws. Total battle score, 269.5. But wait, there's more. If you count Akito the Exiled, you can add one more victory over Jean Ro and approximately 5 kills. So now his record is 17 wins, 2 losses, and 15 draws. He now has 120 kills and his new battle score is 281. But wait, there's even more. If you include Luke of the Resurrection into this, the Zaku had 2 more battles, a loss and a win to Shalio, plus 47 more on-screen kills. Now his record is 18 wins, 3 losses, and 15 draws, which gives him a winning percentage of 71. He now has 167 kills, and his battle score is now 292.7. Now that I've gone through each member of the Knights of the Round, here's how they rank in wins, losses, battle score, and total kills. Well that was insane, let's move on to Cornelius troops. Let's start with the Daltons. Andreas Dalton is one of Cornelius' royal guards and extremely loyal to the royal family, and doesn't discriminate against others. All role, just a good guy, and the pilot of the Gloucester. Dalton has two battles, a win against Cornelia while under Lelouch's Gios, and a loss to Lelouch, both occurring in stage 24. Dalton had 10 on-screen kills. His winning percentage was 50, with one win and one loss. Total battle score, 8. Next we have Claudio Dalton, one of Dalton's adoptive sons. He's the only son to survive in the whole series. He pilots the Gloucester with the shoulder mounted missile launchers and the one with the float unit. He also pilots a Gareth. He lost once to Gino in turn 5 and Colin in turn 6 and defeated Nagisa Chiba in turn 18. No on-screen kills to report. His winning percentage was 33 with 1 win and 2 losses. Total battle score 3. Next we have Edgar, and poor Edgar may be the worst of the sons, at least as a pilot. He also pilots the same nightmare frames as Claudio. Edgar lost to Gino in turn 5, Colin in turn 6, and to Toto in turn 18, and that loss against Toto would also come at the cost of his life. He didn't kill anyone on screen, his winning percentage was 0, with 3 losses. Total battle score, negative 12. David fares better than the rest of his brothers of the ones that we are talking about in today's video. I always felt bad though they never got to avenge his father's death and also was manipulated by Gios. Poor guy. He also piloted the same nightmare frame as his adoptive brothers. Technically he defeated Lelouch in turn 4 but he lost to Colin in turn 6 and Nagisa in turn 18 and that's of course where he died. No on-screen kills to report. His winning percentage was 33 with 1 win and 2 losses. Total battle score 3. Let's move on to the most loyal man in Code Geass, the orange boy himself, Jeremiah Gutwald. I love the journey this guy goes through, but another video for another time. Jeremiah pilots the Sutherland, the Siegfried, the Sutherland Zieg, and the Sutherland Loyal. Jeremiah defeated Anya in final turn RE, lost to Colin in stage 2, and stage 10, has draws against C2 in stage 25, Colin in stage 1, V2 in turn 14, and Suzaku and Gino in turn 18. He accumulated 24 on-screen kills. His winning percentage was 44, with 1 win, 2 losses, and 5 draws. Total battle score, 35.4. We now turn to Gilbert G.P. Guilford, the spirit of the Empire, Cornelius Knight, and possibly Lover. Guilford pilots the Gloucester, the Vincent Command Model, and the Quinn Rose Model B. Guilford has one win against Kento in turn 6, one loss against Colin in turn 6, two draws against Toto in stage 11 and stage 24, and Suzaku and Gino in turn 18. He had 14 kills. His winning percentage is 50, with a record of 1 win, 1 loss, and 4 draws. Total battle score, 32.4. And finally, the Witch of Britannia, the equally beautiful and deadly Cornelia Lee Britannia. She's also one of the most wasted characters in the series, but that's another topic for another time. She pilots her own custom Gloucester and the Quinn Rose Model Z. Cornelia defeated Lelouch in stage 24, but this one's kind of weird because C2 was with Lelouch at the time, but since it only shows Lelouch doing the fighting, the win is only against 
him. She also defeated V2 in turn 14. This is also weird because she controlled the weapons of a nightmare frame but didn't actually pilot it but I'm going to count it anyways. She lost to Colin in stage 11 and Dalton in stage 24. Her draws include Senba and Urebe in stage 11 and Colin in stage 13. This gives her a winning percentage of 50 with a record of 2 wins, 2 losses and 3 draws. Total battle score 34.4. But wait, if you count Lelouch of the Resurrection then Cornelia gets an additional 5 kills and 1 win over General Farknar. Her winning percentage is 56 now with 3 wins, 2 losses and 3 draws. Total kills at 29 and the battle score now becomes 45.9. Now that I've gone through each member of Cornelia's forces, here's how they rank in wins, losses, battle score and total kills. Let's now move on to the characters from Akitori Exiled. Let's start with Ryu Sayams, a character with similar design to Tamaki, but actually someone I like. Ryu pilots a Glasgow, a custom Alexander Type 2, and a custom Alexander Valiant. Ryu defeated Akito in OVA 1 and... Ryu defeated Alan Necker in OVA 2. I assume he did, but it's never officially confirmed. He lost to Ashley in OVA 4 and Shin in OVA 5. This is where things get complicated. During the battle in OVA 2, Ryu is taken out by a member of Ashley's strike force, but it's not clear who it was. I'm going to go with Jan Mains since Ayano cut off one of the hands from his nightmare frame and we see him shoot Ryu from a distance. Ryu had a draw to Akito and Ashley in OVA 2. He also had 7 on-screen kills. His winning percentage is 43, with 2 wins, 3 losses, and 1 draw. Total battle score, 22.7. Yukiya Narus is the next member of the W0 unit that we're going to go over. He's an explosive expert and a skilled hacker. He pilots a custom Alexander Type 2 and a custom Alexander Valiant. He defeated Kuzan in OVA 2, and for his loss, we get into, again, guessing territory. During the battle in OVA, to Akito cut off the arm of a nightmare frame that was being piloted by Franz Fallo. It appears the nightmare frame that took out Yukia only had one arm, so I assume it was Franz. So Yukia lost to Franz. He has draws to Ashley in OVA 4 and in OVA 2, and Akito in OVA 2. He has four on screen kills, a winning percentage of 50, with one win, one loss, and three draws. Total battle score 25.4. Ayano Kosaka is the youngest member of the group with a strong connection to Ryu and Yukia as her adoptive brothers. She pilots a custom Alexander Type 2 and a custom Alexander Valiant. Ayano didn't defeat any Nightmare Frame pilots in Akito to Exile, but she does have a loss. And the loss is again confusing, because we don't know exactly who did it. Since I already gave a win to Franz and Jen, I'm going to assume she lost to Rene Laurent. Her draws are two, one to Ashley in OVA 4, and Ashley in OVA 2, Akito in OVA 2, and Jan in OVA 2. She had no on-screen kills. Her win percentage is 40, with zero wins, one losses, and four draws. Total battle score? 20. Next is the awesome redhead Ashley Asra. Gotta love this guy. He needed way more on screen time. Ashley pilots the Gloucester Swordsman, the Ahura Mazada, and the Alexander Red Ogre. Ashley defeated Ryu in OVA 4, lost twice to Akito in OVA 2 and OVA 4, and Shin Hyuga in OVA 5. He also has four draws Ryu in OVA 2, twice against Yukia in OVA 2 and OVA 4, and Ayano in OVA 4. Ashley has one on-screen kill and a winning percentage of 38 with one win, three losses, and four draws. Total battle score 32.1. I'm going to quickly go over Jan Mains and Franz Valo since both had two battles in the series. They both pilot a Gloucester Swordsman. Jan has a draw to Aino and a win over Ryu, a winning percentage of 75 with one win and one draw. Total battle score, 17. Franz lost to Akito and defeated Yukia. His winning percentage was 50 with one win and one loss. Total battle score, 7. Let's move on to the antagonist of the series, Shin Hyuga, the brother of Akito and the man with the gias to make people want to kill themselves and others. He pilots the Versinketorex. I used to say Versicentrox. I finally got it right. And you can thank Ashley for that. The Versinketorex! Shin defeated Akito in OVA 2, Ryu and Ashley in OVA 5, and has one draw against Akito in OVA 5. Shin didn't kill anyone on screen with the Versinketorex. His winning percentage was 87.5 with 3 wins and 1 draw. Total battle score? 39.
And finally, the man himself, Akito Hyuga, the ghost of Hannibal, and the only one to survive Shin's Gias, he's also Layla's boyfriend. In other words, a very lucky man. He pilots the Guardmare, Alexander, and the Alexander Liberté. Akito defeated Ashley, Johan, Franz, and Simon in OVA 2, and Ashley in OVA 4. He lost to Shin in OVA 2, and Ryu in OVA 1, and has four draws against Ryu, Yukia, Aino in OVA 2, and Shin Hyuga in OVA 5. Akito has 9 on-screen kills. His winning percentage was 64, with 5 wins, 2 losses, and 4 draws. Total battle score, 71.9. Now that I've gone through every member in Akito the Exiled, here's how they rank in wins, losses, battle score, and total kills. Let's go through Lelouch of the Resurrection, and don't worry, it won't take long. Let's first start with Belk Batum Bittol, one of the mercenaries and antagonists of the film. He pilots the Balandu, a giant scorpion gigafortress. He also piloted a ghetto vaca. He only fights Colin with one draw and one loss, in which he killed him, and thank God. No kills for this man. Bitto's winning percentage is 25, with one draw and one loss. Total battle score, 2. The other pilot we're going to look at from the film is Shalyo, the brother of Shamna and the military leader in Zilkstan. He pilots the Magashumane, the first rumored 10th generation nightmare frame. Shalyo fights Izaku twice, with one win and one loss, giving him a winning percentage of 50. Total battle score, 7. I'm not going to show the rankings because it's kind of obvious. During the creation of this video, I realized that I forgot V2 somehow, even though he's part of many of the battles. So let's quickly go over him. V2 is Charles' older brother and fellow immortal. V2 might look like a child, but he's actually quite deadly and evil. He pilots the Siegfried, a powerful giga fortress using BioConnect. V2 only fights in turn 14, but still did some damage. He defeated Rollo, lost both to Lush and Cornelia. It was a team effort, so only counted as a single loss, and has a draw to Jeremiah. This gives him a win percentage of 50, with one win, one loss, and one draw. Total battle score, 14.4. Let's move on to the Black Knights, and this is where things are going to get interesting. We will first start with the Mysterious C2. The Witch, the Immortal God, and the Co-Conspirator later turned lover to Lelouch. She's also one of the most popular women in the entire series. C2 pilots five nightmare frames. The Gwen, Zero's Borai, a pink Akatsuki command model, Sikisan, the Lancelot Frontier, and the Gekoi. C2 defeated Anya as part of a group effort in turn 11, and she lost to Kaun in turn 24. She has two draws to the Zaku in stage 23 and turn 11, and a draw to Jeremiah in stage 25. She has 18 kills. Her winning percentage is 50, with one win, one loss, and three draws. Total battle score, 26.8. Next, we shall discuss Rollo Lamperouge, aka Rollo Halliburton, Lord Kimmel, and Nebros. Rollo is the fake brother that replaced Nully in R2. He pilots the Vincent and a Sutherland with a float unit. Rollo has one win over Uribe in turn 2 and one loss to V2 in turn 14. Rollo blew up a carrying class airship, which is why his kill count is so high at 1,329 kills. His winning percentage is 50 with one win and one loss. Total battle score, 139.9. Now we have come to the worst Nightmare Frame pilot in Code Geass, Shinichiro Tamaki, Zero's best bud and cheerleader. He's also the worst example of comic relief I've ever seen. Tamaki pilots, if you want to call it that, a Sutherland, a Borai, and a Katsuki mass production model. He has four losses, three of which were to Suzaku in Stage 2, Stage 18, and Turn 24. His other loss was to Bradley in Turn 18. Tamaki somehow has four kills. His winning percentage is a pathetic zero. Zero, total battle score, negative 15.6. Next, we have the only representative from the Chinese Federation, Li Xinkei, the man who has the brilliance of Lelouch and the fighting skill of Suzaku, but also is dying due to an illness throughout the series. He only pilots the Shen Hu throughout all of Kogias. Shinkei defeated Colin and Nagisa in turn 10, lost to Bismarck in turn 17, and to Suzaku in turn 24, and has one draw to Gino in turn 11. Shinkei has 1,892 kills, as he's the only character to take out two carrying clans class airships in the entire series. This gives him the most kills of any character using just a nightmare frame. His winning percentage is 50, with 2 wins, 2 losses, and 1 draw. Total battle score, 209.2. Next, we have the Ace of the Black Knights, the Captain of Squad Zero. 
the fiery redhead, the character that got sidelined in R2 and almost ignored, the girl who's balancing a double life with two identities as a Britannian and a Japanese individual, Colin Kozaki. Colin, in my mind, is the best nightmare frame pilot in the series, and she pilots the Red Glasgow, the Gurren Mark II, the Gurren Fly Enabled Version, the Gurren Satan 8 Elements, the Gurren Type Special, and the Ghetto Vaka. Colin defeated Jeremiah in Stage 2 and in Stage 10, Cornelia and Kiel Sodasi in Stage 11, Alfred Dalton in Turn 4, Gino, Anya, Guilford, David, Claudio, and Edgar in Turn 6, Suzaku in Turn 18 and Final Turn RE, Bradley, Marika, and Lee Lalana in Turn 18, and C2 in Turn 24. Colin lost to Suzaku in Stage 2 and Stage 24, and Shinke in Turn 10. She has draws to Jeremiah in Stage 1, Cornelia in Stage 13, and Suzaku in Stage 11, Stage 13, Stage 23, and Turn 6. Colin had... 229 kills. Now let me explain what I meant in the short. If you only count killing soldiers individually, meaning take out each pilot in their respective nightmare frame or vehicles of that nature, then Colin has the highest on-screen kill count using a nightmare frame. If you include high-capacity vehicles, then Shinke has the highest kill count. And if you include using additional weapons, then Suzaku has the highest kill count. Hopefully, that explains that misunderstanding that people had with the short. Now, back to the totals. Colin has a winning percentage of 76, with 17 wins, 3 losses, and 6 draws. Total battle score, 233.9. But you know we have to talk about Lucha of the Resurrection. In that film, Colin had a win and a draw against Bittle, plus 92 more kills, giving her a winning percentage of 78. She now has 18 wins, 3 losses, and 7 draws. Total battle score, 260.1. And last, and certainly not least, is the man who founded the Black Knights, Lelouch v. Britannia, a.k.a. Lelouch Lamperouche, a.k.a. Zero, a.k.a. Julius Kingsley, a.k.a. the evil emperor, Lelouch, the man who holds the entire world in his hand. Lelouch, as you're going to find out, might be a brilliant man, but is a terrible nightmare frame pilot. He had plenty of time to fail while piloting the Sutherland, his personal Burai, the Gwain, the Shinkiro, the Maharoba Type Zero, and the Gekoi. Lelouch has wins against Euphemia in Stage 23, Andres Dalton in Stage 24, V2 in turn 14, he has losses to Suzaku in stage 2, stage 11, and stage 13, a loss to Cornelia in stage 24, David Dalton in turn 4, Gino in turn 24, and Bradley in turn 18. He has draws against Anya and Gino in turn 18. Lelouch did have many kills at 179. His winning percentage was 33, with 3 wins, 7 losses, and 2 draws. Total battle score, 34.9. Now taking Lelouch of the Resurrection into account, he had an additional 7 kills. Those poor women who served Shamna and technically Shamna. So no change to the winning percentage, but his battle score did increase to 35.6. Now that I've gone through all the members of the Black Knights individually, here's how they rank in wins, losses, battle score, and total kills. Now that we have gone through all the pilots, let's analyze the data and reveal some totals. There are many ways to go about this, and I'm only going to focus for this video on the top scores. In future videos, we can learn other things from the stats that I compiled in this video. Here are the Nightmare Frame pilots ranked in top 10 wins, winning percentage, and battle score. Now that we have that, let's determine the best Nightmare Frame pilot statistically. All we have to do is compare battle scores since the purpose of the battle score was to find some way to come up with some kind of number that takes into account all the other stats I mentioned already. And when we do that, we see that Suzaku's 292.7 best Collins at 260.1. Thus, from looking at the raw numbers, Suzaku is the best Nightmare Frame pilot in Code Geass. And with that, we have come to the end. Let me know in the comments what are your thoughts. Do you want more analysis on different aspects of the story just like this? And now that you know all the stats of each of the Nightmare Frame pilots, who do you think is the best one? Comment below and let me know. And as I always say, the world is not a dark place, and tomorrow will be a good day. Thanks for watching.